there are, there are a number of things that I think I might advise. I advise my audience all the time. Number one, you have to be diligent. Um, in the in the compound word show business, there are two words: the show and business, and they both need to be up to par. The show can't be lacking, and the business have to be on top of your game. So at the end of the day, you have to have both of those things working to enter into show business or entertainment. Because it's important, if, you, if you're lacking on one side, it shows up on the stage where it counts the most. Or it shows up in the records. So both have to work hand in hand. And number one, you, you know, there's so many artists that, that want to be artists that are not really artists. You know, they aspire to be artists, but you've got, you've got to really have some talent. Right? You know, that's first of all. You just can't be learning to play guitar and, and want to be the biggest guitar in the world, guitarist in the world. But you have to be a real artist, first of all, and not fooling yourself or your family telling you that you're good. You know, you really got to be good in this industry. That's the bottom line. The talent is unbelievable. So you have to be good at what you do, and then you have to always work at your cra- at your craft. I have artists that are keyboard players and or because they're producers or they're musicians, and they still practice seven to eight hours a day. They're still making their business. They're working at their craft. And I think it's important that we that all artists do that. So my advice is to really be an artist, first of all. Really have your business together. Really understand what it means. you got to go ahead and do everything. If you're a, if you're a singer or performer, you have to perform the whole time. you got to get on stage. you got to be able to sing, dance, play an instrument. you got to do the whole spectrum of an artist because that's what it takes these days. No, you hang out in a classroom or in a laboratory that actually teaches you how to produce. And being a producer means you must be able to at least play a number of different types of instruments or either or either understand the mechanisms of what that is to produce a track. And when we say track, we mean a recording uh, in a studio. So you either have to know how to play the instrument or know what that brings to the table or brings to the production sound of each record or each artist. Producer actually does that. So you, you got to know instrumentations. Orchestration is kind of key. You know, it's kind of key to know how to orchestrate a whole song from the bass track straight through to the strings. You have to understand what that means. The, the best advice that I can give someone is to really have your heart, your mind, and your soul in your work. You know, um, you can kind of be a jack of all trades, but sometime in your lifetime you have to find and decide, this is who I am, this is what I do. And you go and you do that. You uh, In this industry, there's a sense of knowing that must come along with who you are. And you got to work at your craft to become who you are. 